songwriter Arthur Freed was especially eager for the rights to the Wizard of Oz story, thinking it the perfect breakthrough vehicle for MGM's young starlet, Judy Garland. One of the most famous stories about the Wizard of Oz is that Shirley Temple was actually the first choice for the role of Dorothy. Uh, this might have been true, uh, because Shirley Temple was a bigger box office draw at the time than Judy Garland, but she was never really considered for the part, and there were two reasons for this. One, she didn't quite have the vocal chops to handle the role, and we all know that Judy Garland did. And two, she was under contract to 20th Century Fox at the time, and there was no way 20th Century Fox was going to loan out Shirley Temple to crosstown rival MGM for a big Technicolor picture. 16-year-old Judy Garland was not yet the big box office draw she would soon become, but had found success after being paired with Mickey Rooney in a string of musical comedies. MGM, and especially Arthur Freed, were confident enough that Judy had the talent to tackle such a demanding role. I worked with a lot of other people, but I loved Judy very much, and we loved working together. But, uh, uh, Judy was a very special person and a very special talent. When you speak of Judy Garland, you speak in a very separate way. There was never anyone before her or after her that had the simplicity, the truth, the beauty, and the spontaneity. And once again, that killer voice that just was so arresting and heartbreaking. 